Last episode, we farmed our heads off to get through the tech tree as quickly as we could, and it had begun to pay off. Our thralls were nearly geared enough to be sent on farming trips on their own, and we had enough supplies to nearly reach our maximum gear score. But now, Jumby and I were getting restless, and it was time to start making moves. We decided to set up for a raid and hit the first castle we saw. But circumstances would offer up lucrative and rather greasy alternatives. All right. Let's indiscriminately walk outside and blow someone up. Yes, so. Today's the day. Worst case scenario, we died terribly, Jumpy. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, it's our so, time. So fuck groggy. I got one minute. I have no pants on, which would normally be fine, but Gear Score is very important in this game. Yes, it is. Jumpy and I were eager, but we weren't stupid. Before committing to any raid, we went north to slay the Night Marshal and unlock our bat forms, which would allow us to scout our target and approach it wisely. Focus him. Trying to. Dude. This guy is a motherfucker. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Got him. Oh, got him. Easy. Okay, kill these assholes. Oh my god. Dude, he's still doing damage. Yeah, it's like, bro, just die already. Just have some grace. I'm doing it. I'm risking it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got him. Jesus Easy. Christ, dude. I'll just run it. It's fine. If you insist. Right, I'm going to go do some scouting. I don't think they can hit you when you're in bad form. I think you're pretty much as safe as can be. So I'm just going to head over there and take a look. The base in question was directly to our southeast. A sprawling castle that was large, but also vulnerable. Within only a few moments of landing, it would become very clear that a siege golem might not be necessary at all and that this base might be better suited to the classic five-finger discount. Above an open area? Can you not land in somebody else's land claim? Or like, what the fuck? Uh. Oh, this place got raided. Well, I, uh... Oh, they're crafting a siege golem stone. Don't mind if I fucking grab all of this. Dude, I've seen... I've seen five people on my way back. How do I get out of here? You got loot? Yeah. Oh. I don't know if I can get out of here, though. I just ran by a full team of three and then another guy. Nice. Directly north of our base. Oh, I can't get out. Hey! <laughs> I dropped another courtyard. They were crafting a siege golem. And their, uh... Their gem cutter thing? Yeah. They just... I just swiped 30, I think almost 40 Scourge Stones. Oh. Along with a bunch of Gem Dust and Greater Blood Essence. I think that's probably these guys that just ran by. They're going to be so confused. They're going to think it glitched or something. Oh my god, they're heading back to the base. I think one of them just passed me. <laughs> All three of them just passed me. Yeah, that's what I just saw. Was it like... Like, wait a minute, who was that rat? Uh, fucking Karma and then two others. Yeah, that was them. <laughs> so you can land on the inside, go inside their base, and then just hop out. We might not even need a siege golem. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I don't have time for all that tonight. I'd rather just siege golem someone. How much time do you have? Like, 45 minutes. What? We don't have time for a raid in 45 minutes? Let's it's let's rob them when night falls. Trust me. His raids me. last like five minutes. It's all open in the back. I'm telling you. It's like free loot, Jumpy. I'm telling you. If it's all open, the golem doesn't help us anyhow. Okay. And we can save that Bye. for the next castle. Bye. <laughs> you see how this is like all open? There's benches everywhere. Yeah. They have a name. They got doors open over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop down, go rat for him, and see if I can get a little closer and get some uh connection issue. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Oh my lord, Jumpy. I almost had a heart attack. What happens if you lose connection in the air? I don't know. Might just go down there too and check it out with you. Yeah, I was gonna say go rat for him like immediately and then just uh start poking around. Oh god, he's here. 
He's in there. Oh, fuck. Did he see you? I don't think so. I think I got him right for him, right? Yeah, it's Tortilla. He was level 70. <laughs> the character. I don't know how ballsy do we want to be here? I don't know. We already stole a siege golem from him, but I'm feeling froggy. Yeah, here, come here. Come to me. This is the entrance here that they just don't have a door on for some reason. He was right in here. Oh my god, there's chests. Their whole base is right here, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was telling you. It's literally all open. Oh, he's right there. Oh my god, he's literally right around the corner. Oh fuck, back up where you can. This is literally the rattiest thing ever. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm telling you, that's why I'm like, save the siege. Oh, here, here, Everything's here. open. Come here, come here. Look at this side. It's a little spot. Okay, you can see from here. I saw him right in there to the right. Yeah, see him walking around? Oh, it's Karma. It is them. We could probably even just sit here and wait until their front door is open. Then we'll yeah. know they're gone. Here, I'll watch, I'll watch this door. You watch, you watch that door over there. You know, it's we should true. just be doing this without loot on. Without gear. Well, that's true. There's no reason wanna, not to. We're going to go home like and strip? A, yeah, unless we're actually going to try and fight them, which <laughs> I don't really want to do. I don't think we need to right now. I think we can we can just rob them and, and run. I think like right here is actually pretty good. Oh, look at this. You can get in the rock. Look at this. Can you see me? Sure. I can see your tail. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, Jebby. All right, if they walk up, though, you can't move. We have to hold this rock. We're running out of sunlight though, or shade. I think this rock is covering us. I mean, like, do we? How ballsy are we? Do we gamble it with him AFK? Well, is he even AFK? Is the thing? He has not moved in like five minutes. Actually, though, you want to go around and check the other door? No. Oh, he moved. I see him. Ah, see, I knew it. I knew he'd be there. Let's get. Let's do it. Let's go look. Uh. Oh, what shit. the? What the fuck? <laughs> Who's Jeez. knocking? He's serious right now? Who's knocking it? Why now? It's the rock. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What? That was horrible timing. What do we that do? Was scripted. <laughs> Literally the minute we leave our hiding spot, that's when it's knocked. What are they doing? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> god. <laughs> I don't like it. Jesus, dude. Why did he run over here? I think he was. He, I think he's looking for the skirt. So. Oh yeah, you're right. They're probably freaking out. That's for sure. Why they're so delayed? They were ready yeah. to raid. They're now, going out of the raid, and now they're fucking. This is all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think everything was gonna be open in there. <laughs> Thing is, too. You could steal all their shit even outside of raid hours, right? Oh, fuck. No way. <laughs> I, I mean, think of all the shit we could probably get on this map scouting around, holding people to like. I think that's worth shit. doing. It's just flying around and just looking first. Oh. No way. No fucking <laughs> way. Theme. Just leave. I'm gonna go check the other door again, okay? Okay. I'll stay here and I'll let you know if I see something. I'm gonna in. try to open one of these. I'm gonna see if it takes me out of form. Oh, there's a wolf. Sure. There's a wolf. Thing's here for sure. I don't think oh, he saw God. me. I don't think he noticed it was me. Get back he to the rock, Dumpy! He didn't notice me either. I'm running. Okay, um, you go that way, I'll go this way. Okay. I 
I hear him. I heard him do his dash. Do you want to go back and we'll do this later when you're free? Because this is going to be big. So like if we blow it, that's all that loot down the trash. <laughs> yeah. After many close calls, we had temporarily run out of time. Jumpy left to take care of something in real life, and I left to poop, which meant that I had to take a shower, because I shower after I poop, and if you don't shower after you poop, you're gross, and we can't be friends. Shower after you poop. But I returned to watch over the castle, and to my dismay, I watched helplessly as they added to their defenses. They covered up certain choke points, and the entrance we had been using to get inside was now closed. And yet, just as easily as our chances had faded, they were rekindled. In the time it took me to relay this unfortunate information to Jumpy, our targets had left their base to go farming, leaving their back door open behind them. It was time for us to take the loot that we had so patiently waited for. Welcome back. We've got some thieving to do. Dude, Kronk is so excited. I, I don't think I've ever heard him more excited <laughs> in his life to go kill shit. He sounds so like you waiting for everyone else to go kill yeah. shit. Yeah, that's why Kronk and I have a special bond because yeah. no one else by shares love of loot. No one else shares this level of autism, so one of them has to be on because that door was closed a second ago. They're right all there. named. There's no one here. I'm inside. Just do it. This is our time. This is our chance. I'm gonna grab containers. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. My pockets are full, almost. Ooh, I found their wool. Um, no silk, but I got their scales, thousand scales. Did you check all these? Check this one. Is there primal? So that would be huge. Ooh, I found their imperial thread. Nice. Eleven silk. Oh, Fishing rats was empty. There. Yeah, just rats. Wait, how do we get out that side? Uh, trust me. Okay. I'm getting toad form. Oh, scales and pristine leather and ghost yarn up here. Huge. Like a ton. Ooh. Wait, Jeffy, gonna... run. This way. They're, they're going to be I so confused. I checked those already. <laughs> they're going to be so confused. Oh, can we not get through there anymore? That's what I was trying to tell you. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. For toad form, toad form. Oh, big. <laughs> big. 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 And we can reach the other loot room from here. Go, 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 go. Take all take all this home now, and then we'll we'll go back for we'll that. Land, we'll land back here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, big. Oh, you big, can jump as a rat, dude. Big. <laughs> all right, let's fucking go. Do we take the long way home, or do we... <laughs> Run! I got uh, 150 pristine leather. Dude. Tons I've of got... ghost yarn, cotton, 500-something uh, scales. I say we rat all the way home. We're not that far. Yeah. <laughs> wait, I thought you could uh, cut through here. That's what I was saying earlier. Wait, wait, wait. I was telling talk you, about, toad for it. <laughs> <laughs> Jump right around that wall, dude. Huge so fucking mutants. There you go. All right, we got to... Quick sort and then fucking get back go, in there. Go bigger, go home, dude. We need yeah. more. We need more fucking storage spots. Dude, they're gonna be so upset. It's awesome. <laughs> they have no idea what's happening. Big fucking gains. Dude, the perfect crime. <laughs> the perfect heist. Let's go. Oh, I just broke rat farm. And we, still have, we still have plenty left. Man, I was gonna be so upset if they like. They built all their doors. And then they left them open when they left again. Like, all those doors were closed a minute ago. Who I would shit you not, this? Chubby. Who would expect this? No one would expect this. That's the thing. But... All right, Kronk, you have a mission all night now. You have to find all the bases we can just cheese <laughs> the fuck out of. Yeah. Look at Luke. Oh, off, God. Off the cliff here. You guys are despicable. <laughs> hey, get, wait, come over here to the... Come over here. Bada bing. There, Bada there you boom. go. There's the money shot right there. <laughs> gross. Yeah, Jesus, that's gross. it. That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> yeah. There first. Like, if we uh, land there okay. and they're in the sure. courtyard, that's it. Shake us up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that'd be so funny, though. Yeah. Like, uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, so. Uh, are you guys no. cleaning this base out, too? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anybody. I'm going in. 
My God, uh, perfect missing. Yeah, perfect synchronization there. Dude, imagine, imagine logging into this. <laughs> but I only left open the back doors. Can we despawn everything too, just to like eliminate them as a threat? Or is that too toxic? <laughs> okay. what, what do they actually have left at this point? Okay, though? Alex, Alex, you don't want to start going full nuclear right away. Like you, you, you want it to be kind of a mystery. You know? These guys like, are our neighbors, and they have a full four. I want to go full nuclear. They have a full okay. four, and they were making a siege golem that was probably meant for us. So if I'm you want to just everything, eh, fuck it. You they know? were nice. They were nice when I walked by them. They didn't attack me and everything. Little did they know. Yeah, well. While sometimes they were doing that, you were in their base stealing their fucking siege golem. Sometimes that's how it be. I walked right past them with their siege golem in my pockets. This game is bad for you too. Oh my god, this just we just do not have the storage for this. Coming back down, I'm gonna go straight for that lower area. Did you put more chest down? I put a couple slims right next to our storage area. Who leaves doors open? Fucking, I would be hanging my clanmates if they did this. <laughs> like, like, why? It's so easy. You just push. They, it's not even honeycomb. It's one door. <laughs> Pretty good with my door discipline myself. Matter of fact, like after I log off, if, especially if somebody's in my base, I'll like do. The, I'll like log back in, do the round, and then log back out again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta make sure, dude. Did you get into the small? the south area yeah is there anything out. in there yeah there was a bunch of like capes and shit all right i de-aggroed the thrall Ugh. is God. it worth going in there is there still shit uh i don't think so wow these are full too oh my god yeah i added two more <laughs> yeah i don't think we should come back here i think we're good does it look cleaned out it's cleaned out I don't think there's anywhere else we can get in. Nice. Good hustle, Jumpy. Good hustle. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god. So I'll, I guess when the sun goes down, I'll go flying around and look for uh, their other base. They have to have another base. You're right, though. There's no. Yeah. What were you say? Oh, I don't know. It piqued my interest because it started with you were right, and I don't hear that very often, so. I figured I'd, <laughs> figured I'd pursue that. <laughs> no, uh, you must have misheard. Like, I guess so. It's gone. It's gone forever now. It's almost go time. It's almost night Hell time. yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. A couple of naked dweebs. This this is the Conan vibe I haven't gotten from Conan in a long time. <laughs> Chances of that being open, though, are pretty slim. I'm actually nearby, so I'm going to check it real quick. Yeah, I'm just curious, like, who it is. We gotta start picking targets. It's true. I was telling oh, Luke earlier, I mean, we're at the point where we're both restless, so if we just start raiding people and if we get wiped, I mean, it is what it is. This guy's name is Fartin' Luther King. Huh. <laughs> uh, there's a castle over here that looks like it's decayed, but still has all the doors on it. Can you hit stuff outside of raid windows if it's decayed? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, worth trying. You can. You can? Yeah. Uh, uh do you wanna uh, get your gear and we'll break through this real quick? This guy's name is Spartan Luther King. <laughs> I pointed out the same place earlier. That's why I investigated it. I'm like, that is a goofy name. There's no way it's not a goofy base. But it's a regular base, it's just decayed. Come on, land me. Land me. Ugh. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, I think you landed on the other side of the courtyard. It's okay, when, when night falls, did you get in? I just got in. Full chest of essence. Dude, this guy's a troll. He's... <laughs> His chest name is Josh Raw Dog. <laughs> big, big Daddy D's box. I got some planks. I'm really Sack amazed that people with those names lost interest before building up. 
I'm very shocked. Yeah, right. And don't forget AP period blood. <laughs> You're telling me that clan didn't have what it takes to stick it out in a merciless favor? I'm shocked. Enough for, for all. My jaw is agape. You missed the uh, misty necklace. It's a nice little could, spare like, necklace. Toss it on a thrall or something. That's actually pretty good. I got spoiled by the first base jumpy. That's what happened. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look at this pitiful loot. We just cleaned out a proper base. I'm settling for this. Huh. Ten graders, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They should have farmed more before quitting. And, you know, some iron and some wool. Oh. oh. I didn't think it was going to be hostile. It's a rank zero, though. You see how they don't really take damage? Yeah, they're not taking damage. Yeah. They'll take damage from the spiders. Yeah, the spider. Oh, lure them to the spiders. My Frost Nova did damage. Huh. I guess ults still damage thralls outside of Raid Window, and that's kind of fucking. That's a little fucky. Not much. Yeah, we could just give Luke this castle. <laughs> Grief the castle real quick. A lot more space. Yeah, it's true. I mean, this would be easier for us to honey comb too if we decided to make it into a secondary base. It's level three. Oh, we can just raid for free because it's decayed. Oh, there you go. Luke, you want a bigger base? Okay. Let him enjoy his base. I was just uh, asking. No, 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 no. I, I appreciate it. I just, <laughs> the, I just wrap my mind around my own base. Yeah, I'm almost back to our base. I'm. Dumping and I gotta go to sleep. There's I'm actually a lost. couple. Yeah, actually, I stayed I up late for the loot. I've lost much sleep over this loot, but it was worth it. The first base was worth it, yeah. This second one. <sighs> Unbelievable. There were actually Ow. a couple of gems hidden in there. Some uh, gem dust. They had 20 spectral dust. A couple more regular gems. Yeah, I got... 700 gem dust out of that that's like that's really not that's, that's like pretty good 20, actually that's like 22 or 23 bombs major bombs Ooh, so. multiple siege golems too i'm dead uh, fuck <clears throat> i'm actually right next to you no no can... no 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 <laughs> I, no no okay i I'll, I'll leave it i'll leave you to it I, i'm right outside my base i just i i just need to i need to suffer let me, let me suffer. <laughs> this is growing. This is actually pretty respectable loot, Jumpy. I'm not even upset. It's like it's only one inventory of loot, but it's good stuff. I mean, we needed some blood essence. They had a couple graders. Yeah, it's, it's not horrible. After rummaging around a few more bases we could squeeze into, Jumpy left to sleep much later than he had planned. Our chests at home were bursting with treasure, and I soon went to sleep myself. Or at least I tried to. As a lifelong insomniac, it's not uncommon for me to have a sleepless night. And rather than toss in my sheets for eight straight hours, I decided to log in and see what I could get up to. I spent some time organizing and consolidating all of the loot that we had gathered in the day. Then I headed out with purpose. There was a clan in the chat that had been claiming the status of Alpha Clan on our server, and they possessed every one of the endgame boss shards, scattering them around their many castles. Given our usual playstyle, I knew it wouldn't be long before we clashed with them directly, and somewhere in the back of my mind, loot was calling to me. I just didn't know where to find it, but I knew where to start, so I started rummaging around the Alpha's bases. Oh, there we go. That's promising. Ooh, tell me that's not slick. Oh, that's depressing. Who closes their doors? These guys are the only people on the server that close their doors. Oh, it's good they got these locked up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have grieved him. Really? Nothing? Come on. Give me loot. I need loot! I'll give these guys their credit. They lock up their castles, but like I can get in. I just can't get that far in. Or at least there's nothing that I can, you know, pilfer. But you know what? They got, they got lots of castles. We got lots of attempts. We're gonna find something today if it kills me. 
Come on. Let me get in. Let me in. I, I need loot. I need it. I'm gonna die if I don't get any loot. Please. You tell me I can't land on that little lip there? With the door open? Come on. There's plenty of space for me to land. This base doesn't have any loot. I, I don't know, guys. I'm losing it. I'm frothing at the mouth. I'm shaking. I don't, I don't feel so good. If I don't get any loot, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Please. God, these, these bases are like all... They're, they're so tempting. Like They leave little ledges for me to land on, and then there's just nothing. They're playing with my emotions. Clearly, our earlier haul had done something to me. Slowly, I was becoming a feral loot goblin, unable to even think straight. My mind was developing a singular focus, to locate and obtain the loot, wherever and whatever that may be. But base after base turned out to be a bust. Despite busting into almost every castle on the server, there was just no loot. It just didn't seem right. Jumpy and I had been on our best behavior. I mean, sure, we trapped that one guy in our base and left him to starve to death, and you know, we ganked a couple people along the way. Sure, you know, we stole from a couple clans as they were exchanging loot, but besides all that, we had been model citizens. To not be rewarded, it's enough to make someone go crazy. But there was still one base left to check. One that had been calling to me the entire evening. The Alpha's main base. <laughs> Didn't I fucking tell you? I knew it. I knew one of these bases had to be loaded. Oh my fucking god with this loot. 20 gold bars. Stop it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I almost feel guilty. That was a lie, by the way. I feel great. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go change my underwear or something. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my! Please tell me this, guys. If I can, if I can't get out with the loot, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> No <laughs> Come on. Ah, god damn it. Ah, that hurts me my soul. Please tell me. You know what? You know, when I was a kid, I went to a Christian school. Christian private school. And they're, they're, I don't remember the full story, but when I was... It was like second grade. Uh, my, uh, the nun lady that was telling a story. It's like some Jewish story about. There's like a warning about greed. There's like this gold, this uh, like troll or whatever. He put his hand in a jar of pickles and he couldn't get his hand out. I don't remember the whole story, but the point is she like she would tell the story, and she'd be like, "Don't be too greedy, or else you might get stuck." And she'd wiggle her eyebrows like she said something real smart. What the consequences? <laughs> I'm feeling kind of stuck, guys. Jesus fucking Christ, you have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea how relieved I feel right now. Oh my god. <laughs> We're on, boys. The loot's ours. <laughs> we got the loot. Take that, you fucking nuns. I'm keeping the pickles. Very nice. I won't say no to a couple of buffs. I think I'm just going to clean this whole fucking place out. Yeah, it's going to take me a while. Not looking forward to sorting all this. Wardrobes filled with endgame supplies. Buffs, plants, gold, primal essence. The finest loot you could stumble onto. 
Combined with the thousands of scales, threads, and everything else we had stolen earlier, all of our needs had been taken care of in a single day of non-stop thievery. With all of this newfound wealth, it only seemed right for us to elevate our living conditions. After all, we were no longer the poor grubs we were in the morning. We were rich. So I spent a little time making sure the server would know it. Nothing wrong with sprucing the place up a little bit, I'd say we've earned it, huh? <laughs> what are we please? Let's get some lights on in here. Uh-huh. This is the garden. Uh-huh. <laughs> Gold draped? That's that's much too tacky for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> Those windows with these carpets. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> But we would hardly give ourselves time to enjoy our newfound wealth. Among the loot obtained was over eight siege golems worth of supplies. So it was time for Jumpy and I to take our wealth and start some shit. <laughs>